In today's video, I've got five facts about Claire Aoki from the series Glyphnir slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Claire's bio, abilities in the anime, her voice actors, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. Claire is one of the main protagonists from the series who made her debut in episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. Her birthday is unknown, what we do know is that she is a first year at school, two years below that of Shuichi. Claire is a female human with a fair skin tone and uh, let's say developed body, which has been heavily abused in the series in terms of fan service. Not that I mind, obvs. She has brown reddish eyes and long light brown hair that is worn down and reaches below her shoulders. She also has freckles on her face, which really gives her that cute appeal. Attire-wise, or lack thereof, right? Oi, oi, noise. She is either seen in her school uniform that consists of a white short sleeve shirt with a red bow, a blue thigh-high skirt, white socks, and brown shoes. We have also seen Claire in a couple of casual attires, and of course, mostly in her pantsu. Noise. Personality-wise, Claire is definitely that of a two-sided coin. Get it? Bad pun. A person conflicted within themselves, if you will. On her outside, she is this very confident, almost cocky, and at times a rather sadistic girl. She has a very manipulative side and has no problem in using others as tools or blackmailing people. Claire is very fiery and can be very abusive both physically and verbally and will not take any prisoners. She does have a way of completely shutting down her emotions when focused on her goal at hand, and it is these emotions that, you know, are the flip side of her personality. Though she comes across as cold and, you know, at times cruel, beneath this is a girl who is suffering, and to me, one that is looking for help. She is a girl that is lost and is suffering from a level of despair that, you know, had led her to attempting suicide. Then, of course, there is, you know, the playful side to her, which is extremely perverted, as we have seen a lot already. Claire is, you know, a pretty shameless girl, much to the despair of Shuichi. You know, she confesses personal things to him, makes lewd jokes, and of course, undresses in front of him. He truly lives the hardest of lives. Claire's Japanese voice actor is Toyama Nao. She has voiced other characters such as High Elf Archer in Goblin Slayer, Lele La Lelena from Gate, Shitoge Kurosaki in Nizakoi, Yui Yuigahama from My Teen Romantic Comedy, and more. Now, I imagine that Glyphnir is, you know, most likely getting an English dub at some point, but I haven't seen who they have cast, so no info on here just yet. In terms of abilities, Claire doesn't possess any monster-like abilities of her own, but she is a pretty capable fighter. In order for her to fight, she of course needs Shuichi in his monster form. Using the large zip on his back, she will crawl inside of him and the pair become one. They are then intertwined, being able to both move his body as if it was their own. In this state, the fighting is pretty much left to Claire to control. As well as being able to both control Shuichi's monster form, they can both feel each other's feelings. Feelings. This, of course, as well as their adventure so far, has led the two to having a very strong bond with one another, in which Claire has said that she only intends to die if Shuichi does. As we know, Claire saw her own sister Elena become a monster and murder her family. The problem was that nobody believed a word that Claire was saying. Her goal now is to find her sister and murder her for what she has done. Now, we have seen that Claire will do absolutely anything in pursuit of her sister, including taking the life of another person. Not only that, but like previously mentioned, Claire has even been able to completely kill off her own emotions, much to the shock or terror, I guess you could say, 
of Shuichi. But thanks for watching this my video, five facts about Claire Aoki from the series Glyphnim. Let me know in the comments which character you would like to see next. Of course, I want to give a huge shout out to Warwick and Animator22 for supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out my links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace.